I'm super excited to put together another Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day idea. I am very excited again to be working with Amanda B with Amanda B Florals. So if you want some more inspiration or a fun and simple and very easy Valentine's Day project, stay tuned. Okay, I'm not a fashion blogger or makeup blogger, but I have to share my go-tos because I just found these in my pockets while I'm sitting at the red light. Dupe for the MAC Chestnut is the NYX Espresso. That person next to me, good grief. And then for all my chocolate lovers, it's the NYX, what is this? NYX Butter Gloss and Fudge Me and Caramel. I keep these on me all the time. So, just sharing. Right, Lola. Now, oh, here she comes. Star of the show. I made it to Amanda B's flower shop and she has the cutest shop that has bright pink and purple walls. She also she has a bunch of great gifts from local and small businesses. And she has a dried flower cart where you can create your own dried flower floral arrangement. I really like this because it lasts a long time and it's really beautiful. Another one of my favorite things I love is she has this card section and the cards are great. You know, sometimes you need a good laugh, and these cards definitely fit the bill. Amanda and I sat and chatted for a little bit, and of course, Lola was begging for attention before I decided to go ahead and get started in making the carnation flower garland. The problem is, is that it's so loud from the... <laughs> if you do need more light, I can... I have supplemental, like, stand-up light. So I'm here at Amanda B's floral shop and I'm going to do for Valentine's Day a garland, um, carnation garland. So I got three bunches. Did I get three or two? The lights. I got two bunches of carnations from Sam's Club. You sure you can find flowers at any big box store but I got each bunch, which I mean, it's a good amount for $6.95. So it wasn't that expensive and they're already starting to open up. And I think they do like a seven day freshness guarantee. So I got these because I wanted to do something for about, like I said, I'm repeating myself, something for Valentine's day for either the bar cart or for the wall or for the candy bar that I'm gonna set up. So items that you need flowers that I'm tearing. You will need floral shears or honestly probably really sharp scissors and some floral wire here. I don't know if that showed up. And then fishing line. And if you want to keep it on in place, one idea is you can knot where the fishing line connects there, or you can put glue dots to keep it in place so it won't slide up and down the fishing line. You can kind of see, I think, maybe not right there. So, step one, time to cut your flowers. When trimming your flowers, you wanna be able to cut 
as much of the stem off as possible, but leave about a fourth of an inch so that you're, you will be able to thread the wire through. Majority of the blooms were already open, but if they weren't, I was able to kind of squish the bottom of the flower to encourage it to open. But you want to pick your blooms that are obviously open so that it looks the best when you are wiring it onto the garland. Next, you're going to want to take your floral wire and pierce it through the base of the flower bloom and make sure that it goes all the way through. Sometimes I've had some difficulty getting it all the way through. The flower wire would bend, and so you would just have to change sides, but it was pretty easy for the most part. After you've gotten the floral wire through the base of the flower, you wanna twist it to secure it onto the fishing line. From there, you're gonna take the glue dots and apply half of a glue dot on each side of the flower base so that the flower will not slide up and down the fishing line. You'll continue to repeat these steps until you get the floral garland as full as you would like it. I personally really wanted a very full floral garland. There was no rhyme or reason as far as colors go. I just added as many flowers as I could. I'm really happy at how the floral garland turned out. It probably took me about an hour and 30 minutes to complete everything just because I was taking my time. I think if I was in the zone, it probably would have been quicker. And I'm testing it out to see how it looks on the wall. And we'll come back for day two of finishing the Valentine's Day candy cart with the floral garland. cool it's like I did a filter it's a god filter okay day two headed to Amanda B's again to finish up Valentine's Day content and I really hope it gives you some inspiration on stuff to do for your household during Valentine's Day it's super easy it's pretty cute if you have kids it's a fun craft to do one of the um, the flower garland is a fun craft to do with the kids but, yeah, it's Friday. I'm happy about it. Outfit repeat. Well, just a different color outfit repeat. Y'all know how it goes. And this munchkin. She's so, like, she's ready to roll all the time. So, she comes. If she's able to come, I'll bring her or take her. But head out the window. Unbothered. I can't. All right, so I will um, show y'all everything once I get there. So check it in. Time to unload. I'm bringing in everything. And I have a couple of bar carts, but this one was easy to transport. So I decided to bring the round one. And then of course, a full bin of different glassware and candies and options because Honestly, I don't know how I want to style it until I'm able to pull everything out. So it takes me a while. So I might as well pack everything. Now I'm trying to decide on the perfect spot for where I want the bar cart. I love the pink wall. Pink wall is super cute. So this might be a good temporary spot for it. A lot of this stuff had 
from Girls Night. So we need to use it. And then of course, no event is complete without twelve cotton candy. Got a bunch of these bags. I thought this was cute for Valentine's Day. And treat bags to put all your candy in. A stamp to decorate your candy bag. More candy. Okay, change of plans. I brought all these jars, and I know y'all saw the big one, and even this one, but I don't have enough candy to fill all of them. So, part two, where'd you get these? Yeah, so I got I got mine from well now it's dollar twenty five tree, so I got these and I think these will look a lot better and then the candy will fill up all the way to the top and so we're gonna put it at varying heights here, as opposed to probably like two or three big jars, unless you have space for it. But I would really want to use the bar cart for this. So you change things up. I brought all this and that not even going to use it so i was so happy amanda had a bunch of different glass cylinders she uses these for her candles but once they're clean they are perfect to use as containers to hold the candy i went ahead and cleaned them Rinse them out and now it's just time to dry them off and then I want to be able to kind of get a vision of how I want them stacked. I'm using different size risers to bring some height to the bar cart because you want to be able to see all of the candy. You don't want everything on the same level. So. So you want to use the risers to add some height to the taller cylinders in the back and the shorter cylinders you can just keep those in the front. Doing a little bit of adjustment just to see what looks good before I add in all the candy. Now I'm just adding the final details, some bags of 12 cotton candy on the bottom, and then of course your treat bags. So when you are ready to fill up your treat bag with treats, it's very accessible on the bottom of the shelf. I forgot to bring the tongs, but I did have these wooden spoons that's easy to scoop up the candy. Amanda and I are going to hang the floral garlands since the bar cart is done just to see how it looks on the pink wall. Eventually we'll probably move it, but for right now I think it looks really cute with the pink backdrop. It also will look really good with the garland just hanging all around the bar cart. And there you have it. The candy station bar cart with the floral garland is done. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I actually really like the floral garland hanging on the bar cart as opposed to hanging on the wall. Probably if you had this in the kitchen or in a bar area, it would probably look a lot better than just hanging on the wall plain or if you had multiple garlands. 
but personally I like it hanging on the bar cart. Let me know what you think again in the comments and if you decide to do something special like this for Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day, I would love to know. If you enjoyed this video, if you got some inspiration for Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day coming up and you want to recreate a candy cart station, I would love for you to like this video and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hope y'all have a wonderful Valentine's Day.